A local doctor tomorrow was originally expected to be the peak of the coronavirus in our country. But Dr. Carlos Del Rio, an infectious disease expert with Emory University, saying that estimate of Easter Sunday might be off by three to four days. He also says the focus on social distancing and testing has to continue. Tonight, we're taking a look inside the Georgia County hit hardest by the coronavirus. Yeah, we're talking about Doherty County, south of Atlanta in the Albany area. And sadly, folks there have the most coronavirus related deaths in our state. CBS 46 is Yasmina Alston live with us now. Yasmina, you spoke with the coroner about how this is devastating his small county. Mike, that's right. The last four weeks have been very chaotic for Doherty County, where 67 people have died from the coronavirus so far. Now, the coroner Michael Fowler says while some of that chaos has somewhat slowed down, there's still deaths and people are still being hospitalized. Now, Mr. Fowler says this has been different from any other disaster he's ever worked because of the unknown. From the beginning, back in mid-March, he's watched the coronavirus take over his community. Many of the victims and those in hospitals are people he personally personally knows. Now the coroner once averaged one death per day and now they're anywhere from three to seven cases per day for him. He says the majority of those deaths are African Americans. Sometimes we get warned when a hurricane coming or a run of blood coming. But on this it was just a hidden uh, giant that, uh, hidden disease that came out to the community and we didn't see it. And as for the future, Mr. Fowler says it's going to be a long haul, not only for his community, but for the world. We'll have much more from him coming up tonight at 11. Reporting live, Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News. Yasmina, thanks.